And now we've the first episode of a new two-part classic serial by a writer whose novels remained unpublished until after his death in 1924 at the age of 40, from which time they began to accrue much acclaim and not a little bewilderment for the extraordinary worlds they describe. Franz Kafka's The Castle dramatised in two episodes by Ed Harris. Episode 1. Is there a castle in these parts? I, I have a letter sent to me from... I have it here somewhere in my... Uh, oh, oh, oh. I was summoned from the castle, by the castle. <laughs> my assistants are arriving by carriage tomorrow with my equipment, and, uh, but needless to say, I'm a land surveyor and I... <laughs> Blank faces. I require somewhere to... Through a fog of pipe smoke. Where is the landlord? You can sleep in the corner. Is perhaps the landlord available for just a moment of his time? Did it stand like that, man? No one will take your bags. Come into the light so I can see you. Barely looking at me. Devil! Pass me, as if addressing somebody else. I have a letter somewhere. If you must, there's a straw mattress up in the attic. Fetch it. You can sleep in the corner. Yes, you said. Well, then, you've been told, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Up. Up on your feet. Up, up, up. Up. I tried to put myself somewhere where I wouldn't... I'm sorry, did I... Possibly I'm in the wrong place, or... When did he get here? Late. An hour ago, maybe? Well, I made it just past midnight. Possibly eleven or nine minutes after the hour. Landlady! He might be right. I have a letter somewhere, if you'd let me. I can Don't just... Don't mumble. I wasn't mumbling. I can... Open your bags. My... Yes. Bags. Bags! Open your... What's that look? No look. I'll comply. I just... I'll take that. Well, sir. Ah. My bags! With all respect! Enough! Landlady? He said he has a letter, sir, of invitation. Can you point out this letter of invitation? If everything weren't strewn all over the... Then, yes, I almost Landlady. certainly could. He didn't show me the letter. It was his claim that he had a letter, sir. It was his claim? He walked in and he claimed he had a letter, landlady. Where are your papers now? I'd imagine. Well, imagine. On the floor. Well, I imagine you should be in a rush to lay your hands on them. Uh, yes. Um, uh, here are my identity papers. They should... They should all be in some kind of order there, if... <laughs> I'm not a refugee. Oh, migrant, itinerant, displaced. And... Mr K, wife and children. Oh, yeah. Do your wife and children know where you are, Mr K? Naturally. Should I travel around the country? Naturally. A land surveyor. <laughs> and the equipment. Land surveyor for your occupation. I imagine land surveyors have equipment. My assistants are coming tomorrow with everything. All my... Assistants? Two. Two? And this letter of invitation? Right this moment, I can't lay my hands right on it. Right this but... moment, I can't lay my hands on it. But that's all right, because I've got a permit to stay. Yes? Permit? Don't stand. Why are we standing? Why are we suddenly standing, land surveyor? Go through your possessions for a permit, because did anyone see or ask to see a permit? I didn't claim to have a permit. Where is the telephone, madam? On the wall. Schwarz is speaking. Put me through to the warden's office. Yes, I'm fully aware of the time. Ah, ah, ah! You are not to touch a thing. Everything can lie exactly where it... Who is this? Mr. Fritz? Schwarzer. Ah! Hands behind your back, if you please, land surveyor. Uh, have you... Can you tell me, Mr. Fritz, anything on land surveyors? 
Any requests, permits, names, addresses, any itty-bitty thing at all. Thank you. Now, they won't take long. Are you drunk? God, no. I was, I was fast asleep. I travelled a long way to get here and I got lost. I lost? On... on route. Yes. Maybe you still are lost. Schwarzer speaking. Yes. Yes. Exactly as I thought. You are no one. With no permit and no papers and no letter of invitation. With respect, you have my papers. You place them in your inside coat pocket and... Put that down! I saw it first. Certainly you did not. You, landlady, please put my photographs back These where... Photographs. Mr. Schwarzer, I demand that you tell them to leave my things alone. Demand? Indeed. Those items are... Oi! Oh, yeah. Are of significant sentimental value to me and... Give me back my cane so I can thrash you with it. <laughs> Schwarzer. Demand? Well, only... Well, I simply hope that, as an authority of I imagine some standing, in the sense that... <laughs> yes? Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. What did it say? Make the... guest... Make your guest comfortable. <laughs> presently. The non-citizen. The land surveyor. Hot water and soap and... These things and a bed. That's not a... Look at it! In the corner of the room there, like a... A bed! You know, a bed! A proper bed! Of course! What did they say? He wipes his glasses on his sleeve. Blinks. Nothing. 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 Excuse the mess. They, the maids, will bring you your soap and water. And we'll find you a bed. I'm sure the straw All mattress... All the same that... land surveyor. Soap and hot water and a proper bed, as recommended. Please don't tip the girls. Or, oh, in fact, I'll move them out. You'll take their room. You'll, You'll take, take their room. In the light of day, one can see the castle is not a knightly castle from a fairy tale, or, or... The castle is a mass of dilapidated premises, huddled together. In fact, if I didn't know it was a castle, I might have thought it was a small town or even municipal buildings. The castle has only a single tower. In the square, a festival of some kind slightly depressing affair. In the middle of the square, a fire engine, new or newly painted. From this angle, it's hard to see what its exact purpose is, but it's as good a place as any to start the day. Don't stare. Sorry? At the fire engine. It isn't good practice. I'm trying to find my way up to the... Uh, I imagine there's a main road, or up to the castle. Ah, uh -uh. we are not in a hurry. You understand that, Clara? Platz, front row, sings like singing is a race. Oh, yes. Why have you got a cane? Oh, I see Hans has taken a liking to you. Hans doesn't sing with the others. Do you not? My, that's a nice and shiny bell, Hans. And red face paint. What's the red paint? I'm a fire engine. They're all largely fire engines. And what have you come as? A land surveyor, correct? I have an appointment at the castle. And last night I rather foolishly let someone walk off with my identification papers. And Schwarzer, I think his name was. Mm, there's no Schwarzer I know of. My mum works at the castle. Is that a fact? Let him go now, Hans. She worked for Sortini's secretaries. Sortini? This is... This festival is Sortini's. The fire engine is... Sortini's gift to the fire department. Is he here? Not yet. The school choir are yet to be inundated with nosebleeds and hysterical vomiting. 
as befits any public appearance. No, 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 no. I'm quite serious. She has white hair. Who's this? And it's long. Long down her back. I believe we're still discussing the boy's mother. Ah. Well, if I see her hands, I'll be certain to say good day. Let the land survey go now, Hans. He's only passing through. Thank you, Hans. Thank you, Mr. Uh... Thank you. The main street, apparently leading directly up to the castle, in actuality, it approaches and turns aside. And despite not leading one any further from the castle, it doesn't, on the other hand, bring you any closer. One becomes quickly lost. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me if... Oh. One does not feel wholly welcomed. Perhaps it's the constant cold. Perhaps it's all my travel yesterday, but I'm astonished at how weak I am. <laughs> Hello? I'm in a hurry. I believe there's a storm coming, and, and if you could point me in the direction of the castle gates, I might get out of the blizzard. Hello? Hello! Through the snow, a scrawl of ink with a face, a young woman, white hair. Excuse me! Miss! Miss! May I have a moment of your time, miss? She disappears, turns off the road, into an alley. Excuse me! I wonder if you could help. I, I believe I met your son earlier. Miss? Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm looking for... There was a young woman. I followed her down this alley, and I'm sure... I think she came in here. Oh! There's a man! Oh, there's a man at the door. He's come in. I don't want you getting in my bath. Shut up, Grandpa. Oh. No one wants your bath. Ah, good day. I have an appointment at the castle, and I believe your good lady wife... I think you've come the wrong way, sir. No, I'm sure. She came this way. She works for Sortini, and Hans's mother? With respect, sir, I don't want to have to say it again. This isn't a public walkway. Of course, then possibly, if I could get directions? Do you know Hans, dressed as a fire oh, engine? I don't like you! Grandpa, did I tell you to talk to him? <laughs> Don't bark at him, neither. If I say don't talk to someone, it doesn't by right mean you're allowed to bark or cluck or... Shut up! Are you Hans's mother? Is he drunk? He's the land surveyor. Get him out of here! Not one squeak or I'll drag you out into the snow and cane you in front of the neighbours. Is that what you want? Is it? No, miss. No, miss. I met Hans at the festival, your son. He said... I can imagine what he said. Perhaps I might. Perhaps you could show me how to reach the castle. I suggest you want the bridge in. I want the castle. Do you know the way to the bridge in? Yes. Then the conversation's over. Well, in which case, I would doubtless come How will they find you if you're not they? <laughs> Ah, oh, there he is. Cold, wouldn't you say, landlady? Other snows usually they so They arrived. Thick. Sorry? I sent them up to your room. Who? Oh, surely I don't have to follow you around with a broom. Pardon? The what? snow! Oh, uh, the snow! Sorry. Oh, were you raised in a ditch, you trampling... The... There's a perfectly good scrape where I'm sorry, I'm you... sure. Yeah, well, we're all sorry. Who arrived? Ah, uh, the boys, the, the men, the... Move oh, your right. foot! Hey. The men have put them in with you. Who? Them by the fire. Oh, budge, your assistant, sir. That's got to be a weight off my... Budge. Yes, sorry. Excuse me. Gentlemen. Oh, sir. Oh, well, this is all very uh, um, uh, at ease, gentlemen, at ease. Well, have they... Um, um, they, um, have you, um, settled in, gentlemen? At ease, at ease. No one's on parade. You needn't... Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> sit, please. Look, if I sit, perhaps you'll... Oh. Oh. Uh. There. 
The landlady said you arrived today. She's put you in with me? We're your assistants. What have you done with your instruments? We haven't got any, sir. I mean, the land surveying instruments I entrusted you with, personally entrusted you with, before the, uh, before we got here. Oh, we don't have any of those. But land surveying, do you, do you even know the... No. No. But if you're... <laughs> <laughs> if we're... If we're right. what? <laughs> If you're who you claim to be, you would know, don't you see? Why? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, please. Are you assistants, my assistants, whom I know? Aye, of course. Then why do I not recognise you? And why do you not know anything about land surveying? What are your names? I'm not ever going to be able to tell the difference between the two well, of you. My name's Arter. Well, very good. Then I shall call you both Arter, uh, uh, just to save on... Uh, and Jeremiah, sir. Ah, but I shall treat you both as a single person. And wherever I send one, the other will join him. Ah, but, but, sir, I mean, that wouldn't really suit either of us. No, agreed. But in business, when two men agree, one of them is, by definition, surplus to requirements. Bring over there, boys. Gasping! Oh. Mine's an ale and... A whiskey. Aye, ah, whiskey for the boy and, um, mister? Um, no. Ale and scotch, please. Actually, no, make it two scotches, Gardina. Yes, sir. Uh, two ales, two whiskeys. Two ales, two whiskeys, <laughs> look. Coming up, Arthur. Oh, oh, sorry. You were... Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, what was uh, what was that before we were so rudely... Uh... I'm a stranger here. <laughs> Not wrong. Yeah. And as such, if you are my old assistants, so are you. Uh, oh, uh, well, uh... that's you're pretty... Well, pretty I can see that working, good. yeah, I mean... So uh... we three strangers must stick together. No? Don't talk to anyone without me. Uh, I'm going to get some sleep now, and I advise you, don't stay up too long either. We need a sleigh. And I want it outside the inn at six prompt tomorrow morning, ready to leave. Yeah, we're oh, going, hang boys! On. Yeah, just... <laughs> Thanks, God. Oh, you are an angel. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't able to make it to the castle today, which I'm which is disappointing. But I think bright and early tomorrow is as good as tired and overwrought today. No? If you like. Oh, except. Oh yeah, uh Arta's right. No strangers are allowed up to the castle without a permit. Can we not? Telephone them in order to procure a permit. <laughs> oh, procure all right, a yeah. permit. Uh, I'll do it. No, you're all right, Jeremiah. Arthur. I'll do it. Mr. Lansevier? Mr. Lansevier? Ah? Uh? Oh, someone with a message for you, Mr. Lansevier. Wait, will you? I'm sorry, I'm just. I can't do everything at once, and I. Hi, hi. Is anyone there? Oh, uh Fire away. This is the land surveyor's assistant ringing. Sorry, what? Uh, arrived last night. The 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 non-citizen. Oh, right, yes. Yes, I know. That eternal land surveyor. Uh, which assistant is this to whom I uh Joseph. 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 Well, there's there is no Joseph. We've got uh Arta and Jeremiah. Ah, no, yes, those are the new assistants. I'm Joseph, one of the one of the old ones. I arrived today. Nobody arrived today. We don't. We don't make mistakes. What happened, sir? What did they say, Mister Lansevier? There is a man from the castle. Will you see him? I have a message from the castle, sir. Well, if you came all this way... Sir, you don't know who he is. Don't get mixed up, sir, with his lot. Is he not from the castle? He and his whole family, sir, they... How would you know about his family? We three are strangers here, aren't we? Uh, Mr Lansevier? Show him to my room, landlady. I imagine we can speak better in private. As you can see, this is the, uh, excuse the, this is, was the maid's room, but it's been by and large prepared for me, apparently. <laughs> Please take a seat. Could we just sweep away some of this garbage? There's even enough space for our drinks. A lovely room, Mr. Kerr. Sit, please. And perhaps I ought to see uh, what can't exactly be done with this. There. In the glow of the stove, it's... Well, altogether, it's not a bad little room now, is it? I like it very well. As I say, with the right lighting, it's... Anyway. Anyway. Oh, yes. To business. I have a message.
from the chief executive. Would you like to read it, Mr. Keir? No, 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 no. No, indeed, please. Dear sir... In fact, I tried with no success to make it to the castle today in order to... But, sorry, crack on. Dear sir, you are, as you know, taken into the castle's service. Your immediate contact is the chief superintendent, who will communicate with you... The chief superintendent. Right, go on. Communicate with you further details of work and your remuneration. Notwithstanding... I shall keep an eye on you myself. This is he, not I. Of course. And Barnabas, who is me... You, yes. Barnabas, who brings this letter, will make inquiries of you from time to time. You will find me always ready to oblige you as far as possible. From the Chief Executive? Chief Executive Clam, Mr K. K-L-A-M-M. -M. Excellent. Tell me, maybe I could dictate a... How's your memory? Oh, crystal clear. Start by thanking Chief Executive Clam for his kind blah, blah, blah. Um, with regrets, my identification papers, without which I can neither identify myself at the castle nor leave, have been, accidentally, I'm sure, uh, uh, a man called Schwarzer has them. Schwarzer? Do you know him? No, sir. Is that... Is that someone behind the door? I don't think so. How was Schwarzer spelt? That's all for now. Thank him, but I have no particular requirements as of yet. I'll make it a matter of priority to liaise with the Chief Superintendent at the earliest opportunity tomorrow. Earliest opportunity tomorrow. Thank you, Mr Keir. Thank you, uh, Barnabas. B Barnabas. Oh, hell. I forgot something. Barnabas! Barnabas! Where on earth did he go? Barnabas! Barnabas! Mr. Kidd! What is it, Mr. Kidd? Uh, I suddenly had a thought. Well... I was frightened I may never find you again. Sorry! You disappeared so quickly, I almost... Like when you have a fever and you imagine people coming and going, but... Are you lost, sir? No! No, Barnabas! Are you heading back to the castle directly? The castle? Shall we... Can we link arms? Take me with you. Onward. Oh, babe! Oh. <laughs> A close shave. Where are your assistants? Don't worry. Onwards. 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 Hand in hair. I'm flapping under my shirt. We walk. I don't know how far. Or whether we're inside the castle walls. Where are we? Home. Passes that, Amalia. Say please. Oh, passes that please. Oh, Barnabas, let's whip that coat off and... Who's this? Thanks. Who's this, Barnabas? The Land Severe. These are my sisters, Amalia and Olga. Evening. How do you do? Oh, yes, sir. Mr Keir's somewhat exhausted from... Barnabas? Mr Keir, where are we? This is my home. I'm afraid our parents are already in bed, They were but... so excited after the festival today. In fact... Didn't I see you there, Mr Land Surveyor? Something to do with a fire engine? Oh, it was a magnificent festival to recognise the work of the fire brigade with... Father was so pleased, Barnabas. With Mr K, a new fire truck provided by the castle. I saw. And Amalia found herself a rather delightful fancy Enough, man. <laughs> Excuse me, oh. Barnabas, are we not going to the castle? When I gave you the message, it was on the understanding... It was on the understanding that you'd have it delivered and tonight. And I will, sir, at the crack of dawn. No, Barnabas. Right away. Why do you think I came? Don't you think it's important that straight away... Please, it's so silly of Barnabas to drag you all the way here. I, I honestly... But now you are. The fire's warm. There's bread and bacon. Please, sit. Please. I don't suppose you'd like a beer? 
I could, I suppose, now I'm here. Wh wh where are you going? To fetch some. But in your coat? Now? I'll get no. Where from? From the inn, of course. But I just traipsed half an hour from the inn. What's the point in you traipsing all the way there and back again? No, when... from a different inn entirely. For the castle secretaries, bigwigs and so forth. Oh. The Herrenhof. Well, maybe I could come. Surely to Christ I'll get you. Are you scared I'll bump into your fancy man? No, I'm scared <laughs> you're going to take the land survey up to the Herrenhof. Barnabas, talk to her. It might be better not going, Mr K, with respect. Would you like to take my arm, Mr Land Surveyor? This is the Heron Half. Mind your head. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Keep hold of my arm. There, or I'll lose you. It's like a rabbit woman in here. May I ask, why was your sister so adamant that you shouldn't bring me here? Uh, Sortini. Who's he? Uh, Sortini is, is fiercely important up at the castle. She met him today. We met him today. And he's here? Could be. That's the only reason she's all... In case I do something stupid. And he's of influence here. He gives you goose pimples. At the festival this afternoon, when we arrived, he was sitting on top of the new fire engine, arms crossed like this. <laughs> Everyone bustles around him, but he just looks ahead, arms crossed. Then, Amalia in her garnet necklace, doing nothing except sitting there, and Sortini spots her and gorps like this. Oh, he's... he's staggered and... Okay. What are you doing? Mr. K, this is the teacher from the local school, and Mr. We met. Olga, you know the land surveyor isn't allowed in here. Oh, it's only as far as the tap room, just for a glass or two. They aren't my rules. I thought you didn't mind when I come by. Is he drunk? Not at all. Just the air here is different. It's my lungs. I... He's just under the weather. A little sit down and a glass of beer. He'll be as fresh as the dew. And I thought you trusted me. If it's only as far as the tap room. On my honour. And in the darkness, she touches him gently. <laughs> Damp faces, great coats. We slip between the punters. Yourself. Behind the bar, a thin girl in an oversized man's yeah. shirt. Frida! One at a time. Frida's a little spiky, but she doesn't mean it. Deep down, she's quite sweet. But some might say she doesn't mean that either. Sit, sit. Frida! How are you feeling? Fine, fine now, thank you. It's the air, that's all. I hadn't noticed just now that I was leaning on you. <laughs> no one does. Frida! What? When you get a minute? When I get a minute, what? Two beers, please, Frida. This is my friend. I suppose someone has to be. <laughs> He's a land surveyor. Oh. He's got a letter from the castle. He was invited here. Yeah? Here to the Herrenhof or here to the village? To the castle, ultimately, but I've not been able to find it. Are there any of the castle gentlemen here tonight? Just clam. Well, this is fantastic. He actually wrote to me himself. I have to report to him. Do you yourself? Do you know him? <laughs> I wonder whether it wouldn't be possible to... Master Clam will remain alone and undisturbed until he shouts for me. She turns, facing me. The barely buttoned shirt, partway indecent, scarcely covering her frame. But you can look. Let me show you something in the cellar. Olga, I'll watch the bar. And don't wander off. Knees. Beg you. I'm asking you to get to your knees. Here? Now. But, well... I'm not sure how clean this floor is. I'm going to blow out the candle. We don't need any little yelps of alarm or sudden falling over. Of course. And banging around. The quietest hush. <sighs> Darkness. Suddenly, fingers in my hair. Frida uses me, my body, to navigate herself onto her knees. Get close. Tuck yourself in. 
closer. Cheek to cheek. Body heat. Quiet. Peep. Peep. Do you see him? Barely. I... At the desk. At the desk. Yes. There's something between the stacks of her. Uh, are they documents or... I thought it was a coat. Maybe that's him. He's stout. Maybe a little jowly, slightly. Round the cheeks. Broad shoulders? Yes. He has his back to us. What's he doing? Shh. Tell me. He's... I think he's got a cigarette in one hand. There's a beer on the table in front of him. Has he touched it? Yes. Possibly. I don't know. Do you know him well? Very. Her breath on my neck. We know each other. Does he know about this? This being water. This, the peephole, that there are punters who come and... No, this is only for me. He thinks he's... He doesn't know we're here. Terrible, aren't I? Sometimes I think it's the watching, where the power is. There he is, the man for whom all doors are immediately thrown open, sitting there, alone, unaware. Oh, it's a violation of trust and... Oh, it's a sin. Is he dangerous? It's exquisite. He, sitting there, he has access to every life in the village. Shh. And we, we, secretly, only we, sinfully, have access to him. Oh, let me look. Let me look through the hall. His lover and little you in the dark. Imagine, oh, imagine being caught. Oh, it's dizzying. Lansevere, when can I speak with you? Sorry. I'd like to speak to you. Christ. Suddenly, as if she's woken from a dream in which she'd like me. What's that? A servant. What? Wait, we can talk, we can talk about anything. No, we can't. Not so loudly. What if he hears? Frida! He won't hear. He's asleep. Now? Just now? <laughs> Do you really think I would have let you go up at him if he was... if he was otherwise? But... <laughs> no. He'll be like that till morning. Sleeping? Upright at a desk? Upright. At a desk. I'm going back upstairs. But Frida! Gentlemen. Oh, be nice, Frida. Oh, like all the <laughs> smile. <laughs> want me to give you a smile? Do you want me to give you a bloody smile? Oh, no, oh. not like that, Frida. Oh, I've got a smile for you. Don't be such a misery. Oh, I said not like that. Now, where did I put me smile? Oh, no, now, love, come on, less of that. Oh, what? I, oh, don't I, talk about Frida. Oh, no. That's not oh, playing that. that. Out. 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 Get out. Oh, all right, there, you <laughs> Did you not hear? I called last orders, Mr. Land Severe. And you, least of all, should be here. Is that so? It's more than my job's worth if we were found alone. Frida! Get under the bar. Under the. Immediately. <laughs> the men are in the stables. I'm not looking for the men. I'm looking for Mr. K. Oh? I've been given a letter for my sister from Sortini. Or actually, well, one of his assistants gave me Get a letter. Get to the which... point. And I was wondering if the Lanceveer was ready to go back to the cottage. <clears throat> You're treading on my chest, Frida. He probably uh, left. But I was out in the hall the whole time. Oh, maybe he's hiding somewhere. Let us check back here. What are you doing? She'll... Hang on, just check in. Trust no one. They're a bad sort. Nah, nothing. You must have... Uh, 
In short, you must have missed him. It's not just me. The teacher's looking for him. Oh, perhaps... Yes, he's... perhaps he is. At least he isn't here. And it's late. Yes. Of course. And you've a letter to deliver. Yes. Right. Won't Amalia be excited? A letter from Sortini. My. Good night, Frida. Off you, Pop. Don't spend too long in the stables. Oh, darling. Me sweet face, silly darling. Mm. I'm so... I'm so through in beer. Now, now watch yourself. There's oh. A, a... Oh. 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 body burns in my hand. I may not have access to Clam, but here is his lover, and that may mean any number of things. Lance, I'm a terrible human being. Breathless, hearts pounding. Hours during which I feel far away and getting deeper into the furthest flung distant land where even the air isn't quite recognisable, nothing is homely, and you try unsuccessfully to breathe or surface. <laughs> Skirt. What? Where's my skirt and my shirt? Oh, I... Are you on them? No, I... I I'm sure. Frida? Don't look so lost, Mr. K. It's me who's lost, not you. How do you mean? And don't look so serious. Laugh. Why not laugh? Be more like them. Like whom? Like... Oh, Tit, stand up. You wear my shirt and I'm so through. Like whom, Frida? Like them. <laughs> Your assistance. Don't make me angry, boys. Ah, go on. Good <laughs> God. Sweetheart, perhaps you should put something on while you're... Oh, they're just being boys. Avert your eyes, gentlemen. I'm getting dressed now. You avert yours. Arter. Yeah, I'm Jeremiah's. He's Arter. I don't care. I don't. And how dare you? And how long have you been here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now, Mr. K. They've been there the whole time. Frida! Oh, it's clam. Frida! I'm with the land severe. Do you hear me? I'm going to go and live with the land severe. Come on. We can't stay. Where are your lodgings? Yeah, Kay. Your men made you coffee? Oh. What time is it? Afternoon. Morning, sir. Morning. Must they constantly be here? They're your assistants, Key. Oi, you two. Hot water and towels and something to eat. A brilliant idea. Right away, Mr Lansevere. Yep, right away, immediately. Now, uh, both, go. Oh, boss, as Charlie you say. Tim. Immediately. Lansevere. Even where you come from, this kind of volume isn't appropriate. Madam, I apologise for the noise, but... Gardena! Frida, oh, look at you, all ramshackled and out of sorts. What a... What on earth are you doing in the Lansevere's room? I'm... I'm, I'm afraid the maid's moved out yesterday. I'm here with the Lansevere. Do we still need to get water? Yes! Mr K, <coughs> please! Now, perhaps growing up in a city or a large I, as it town, happens, I, perhaps I, all this belly aching and bellowing is a, a usual occurrence happening. Eventuality, but here, in the village, and at your own assistance, I can assure you, enough Lamley, that Frida, my prettiest, most pale, and gosh, you've lost weight, Frida. What have they been feeding you up there? No, don't answer. Sit, sit. Oh, why are you here, Frida? What of Master Clam? Jeremiah, Arthur? No, no, they can stay. We have no secrets from them. Frida and Arthur even used to court when you were kids anyway. Didn't... Where are my boots, please, Frida? Are you going somewhere, Lansevere? Yes. The Chief Superintendent. According to Clam, he's my immediate supervisor. Well, I think that can wait, business, and this is about human beings. Time waits for no man. Boots? Here you, sir. Bring them to me. Obviously, Frida sacrificed a lot by leaving her position at the Head and Hoff Inn, and I can't compensate her for... Thank you, Jeremiah. Everything she's lost, including... Thank you, Jeremiah. 
you can let go now, including clam and the friendship thereof. Jeremiah! It's Arthur! Give me my boot! Thank you. Now, where was I? You don't look well. That's it. Although I can't hope to compensate... What are you going to do about it? I think the best thing would be for Frieda and me to get married. Good God! Mr Kidd! And soon. Truly? Truly and truly, yes. Well, that's... Sorry. <laughs> it's just a shock. But, but what if Clam should call for her again? Hmm? Well, it's probably... Not now. that he would, but uh, should he ever call for you, my little love? Well, what does she do then? Then I imagine it's... It's all the more reason I speak to him. Frida was his lover. She had permission to use the peephole. Well, be that as it may. Why, you're no one. You couldn't possibly, oh, land severe, be reasonable, you to speak to him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, the superintendent Lord. will arrange things. <laughs> Chin up, Frida. This should be a happy day. Oh, certainly, my love. Arthur, don't let him leave. Of course. Sorry, sir. Landlady... These are my assistants, not my guards. And the sooner people stop treating them like the latter, the sooner they'll learn their place. The door, Arthur. Lansevere. Here in this attic, Frida's presence protects you from harm. And possibly inside these walls, you can shoot your mouth off all you like. Even maybe about him himself. Even? But I warn you, and I beg you, don't do it out there. Do not consult the authorities, even at their invitation, or his. Arthur. Yes? The door. I have an appointment with the Chief Superintendent. Please, come, come, plant yourself on the, um, uh, the, uh, uh, ah, there we are, Mr, um, uh, Mr... K, Chief Superintendent. No, yes, absolutely. You've been engaged as a land surveyor, but, as you say, land-wise, boundary-wise, everything's established and... <laughs> The situation is sewn up. This is why I need to see Clam as a matter of some no, urgency. No, quite, quite, yes. But the problem has roots. And uh, years ago, there was an order from one department that that uh, Mitzi, yeah, uh, Mitzi, darling, the files, the cabinets. I'm looking for. Uh, 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 that's right. It should be marked uh, land severe. It should be um, underlined in blue. Small shuffling woman in white and grey snaffles through the shelves on tiptoes. Perhaps I could help you. Do not touch anything, Land Severe. Oh, Mitzi. You're an enormous help, my dear. Now, uh, where was I? I arrived the night before last, expecting my assistants to follow the next day. However, the next afternoon... Wait, two unknown I was bringing you up to date about, about departments. So, as often happens in authorities as large as ours, one department is up to this and the other is up to that, and so it ongoingly unravels. Follow me, will you, Land Surveyor? Will you be all right there, Mitzi? <laughs> Uh, mind your head. Right, yes. I wrote back to the first department, explaining that as far as we could see, no land surveyor was required. But, as happens, this found its merry way to the, uh, alas, wrong department. I see. <laughs> the wrong file in the wrong department, so it was to be sent back. But to whom? The clerk could not make inquiries, because that would imply someone had made a mistake. Hello, baby. I've got a... I've, in my pocket. I've got a... I've got a treat somewhere. I'm so, a Mitzi! Mitzi! Oh, no, she cannot hear. Sorry, baby. Nothing for you today. Where was I, Lansevere? Mistakes. We do not make mistakes. So when said clerk is put in the position of asking another department to look into their department making a mistake, it's... Well, it's not good practice. Please. Then you need a supervising authority in order to... Oh, there's nothing but supervising authorities. And their purpose is not to find errors, as errors do not occur. Well, apparently, I am an error. Who can say with certainty? And if you are, who can say whether or not you were intentional? Sir... All I want to do is work from a little drawing board, peacefully, in my professional capacity. Uh, I know, I know, but uh, th this was all long, long ago, and even if one department has discovered an, an error, who's to say that the next department who look into it will find that it's an error at all? I was meant to come. 
I have a letter from Clam himself, sir. Plus, plus, on the night of my arrival, someone telephoned the castle, and the castle confirmed my appointment. There are no appointment. direct lines to the castle, Mr Keir. The following day, I rang them myself. A, a clerk may tire of picking his nose and may plug in a telephone, but it has no meaning. They may answer. <laughs> but it has no meaning. Indeed, Mr Lansevere. A whim. A joke. If they thought it was actually someone important, they wouldn't pick it up at all. But this needs investigation. I need... My function here needs the clarity. And, and Clam named you as my immediate contact. Do you really want to be subject to an inquiry? Uh, official documents concerning Road Curlaw... Closures. Uh, road closes winter of 21. What the hell are you both doing? Helping Miss Mitzi look for your file. <laughs> <laughs> but the entire room has been turned upside down. Oh, leave them. Your assistants are all acquaintances. They don't bother me. Well, they certainly bother me. But, Mr Kidd, they're your assistants. Any luck? Boys. Well, I'm not sure you'd call it luck. Nah. I'm not being funny about your system, but I'm struggling to find anything in this chaos. Huh? Uh -huh, yeah, possibly. Uh, the teacher may well have your file, Mr K. He keeps all kinds of records at the school. With the greatest of respect. I have come such a distance at the request of the castle. God knows where my real assistants are. And now with no money and... and and now with Frida to consider. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but what are we to do from here? Every face is still and staring, saying the same thing. Like the superintendent said, it's all sewn up. I can see no other option, except that I return to my lodgings and you to your department, and you will have to make me the subject of an inquiry, Chief Superintendent. Arta... Jeremiah's lodgings now. Gentlemen, I want both boots scrubbed, polished, and when I say polished, not just spat on. Not just spat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, humour me. Is that clear? As the driven snow at land severe. Indeed. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a big day. Jump to it. Hey, no, oh, hang on. No, don't hey, shut hey. the door and as a... Where have you been, Kay? To see the chief superintendent. Ah, Mr... Excuse me, I must get out of these wet things. It's no good for my lungs. I have come with a message. From the Chief Superintendent, Mr. K. Uh, already? He... That is, we... Spoke about your meeting. Frida, towels, please. Oh, sweetheart. I'm sure Mr. Uh, understands if I have to... With regard to your meeting, I have drawn up at his dictation. Hurry along, sweetie. Do you please take this seriously. Fire away. I drew up at his dictation... A memorandum of the conversation... Despite your not having been there. ...at his dictation. For in the village, in the castle, we adhere to a protocol. Clearly. OK. Sit. Frida, my love, my shirt. Go and iron it, if you please. Yes. The chief superintendent is concerned that should your inquiry not reach its resolution at a speed you see as fair, that you may do something spontaneous, of your own accord. Such as? He offers you the post of school caretaker. <laughs> Naturally, I put forward my objections. My assistant and I have enough trouble with the children without this you. And what did he say? He said that as a land surveyor, you should be in an adequate position to tend to the roses. And so here you are? Yes. You put yourself to a great deal of unnecessary trouble. I have no intention of accepting the post. I have no intention of being in his debt. Excellent. Then we can put the whole sorry tangle to bed. Excuse me. Darling, sorry. Frida, what um 
I'm sorry to trouble you, sir. P please, take a seat. I just need a quick moment with Kay. Frida, my love, you look so anxious. Didn't want it. Oh, hell, look at us, I'm shaking. Frida. No, no, because you'll hate me and... The landlady, after she spoke to you before. Before? Before, here, in there. Before? Oh, I haven't seen her cry before, and now she's just... Darling, let me get shot of the teacher, No, then. no, I know, wait. It'll all... It will, I'm just going round in circles. You're doing everything wrong. You have to take the job. Absolutely not. You need work. We're, we're both I need... don't trust him. I don't like being near him. The landlady wants we out. The way you spoke to her, the, the way she's holed up in her bed, sobbing. Let me speak to her. No, she won't see you. I didn't think I spoke to her in any kind don't of... Don't be stubborn. You expect me to go back in there and accept this position that is not only below me, but this is Clam's doing, to humiliate us. He's... <sighs> is there a problem? Thank you for waiting, sir. It's very good of you to... considering how you and... The Land Surveyor are both very busy men, aren't you, Kay? <clears throat> I think... Kay. I think... We'll take the post. Please, sir. Very good. You, Mr Land Surveyor, are to clean and heat the rooms daily. Absolutely. On errands for myself and my assistant. Of course. There's a list of other... Please. Miss, please, I'm addressing him. A non-citizen. In other turn, you have the right to live in one of the classrooms, which one I don't care much, so long as you aren't there during lesson time. And needless to say, any unpleasant scenes of your domestic... Not for the eyes of children. Indeed not, sir. And of course, your interdependence. Yeah, yes. This must be put on a legal footing as soon as possible. You start tomorrow. Good day. I'm sorry, Kay. Kay. Damn it! Give me my shirt. Jeremiah's? Arthur! Kay? Darling, why? Where are you going? Darling! Darling! Slow down, especially in this weather, with your lungs. It's futile. It's... Go home and pack. Where are you going? Please. He won't see you. Don't throw yourself about and into situations you... What situations? Frida. Please. We're caretakers now. For now. Come home. Help me pack. Do you know what? I'm cold. I've never seen the slightest sign of life up there. There isn't even a light on. We should head back. While it's still... Before it... <coughs> <coughs> Go back to the bridge in and pack. I'll see you at the school. When? You see where the Herrenhof Inn is? See the lantern outside? Uh-huh. I'll be no further away than that. But when will you be back? He won't see you. No one will see you. You're not well. Oh, uh, you're not allowed in here, Land Surveyor. I have no intention of staying long. Do you want us to explain it to you outside? Olga! It's all right, gentlemen. He's a friend. Mm. He's... You're with me, aren't you, Kay? You're cold. What's wrong? You look... God, you look terrible. I'm here to see Clam. But... You know that's impossible. I know which room is his. I just need ten minutes with him, just to pop forward, so we... I think if we... alone, if we... Could she not have come herself? What? Who? Frida. 
to plead your case as she was asked. She? Who? Did the teacher not come? Yes, but this is simply another digression. Olga, please. I must see him just for five minutes. He's not in there now. Where is he then? He's just going out. There's a sleigh waiting for him in the yard. Did you not see? Bye. <laughs> Kate, come back. I must talk to you. In the yard, a horse and sleigh. Excuse me. Clam? Clam. Hi. Huh? Who are you? I'm allowed to be here. I I'm allowed in the forecourt. No one has yet said... Come with us. I'm not going with you. I have a friend in the tap room who can vouch for me. Mr. Lance of She can. Uh, let me give her a shout. Let me find her and... Come with us. Uh, no, but I'm Come. waiting for someone. I I'm with Olga. I'm, Come I'm not here unaccompanied. Uh. This way, Mr. Lanzavare. Someone's waiting inside. No, please! Driver, unharness the horses. Return them to the stables. No one's going anywhere tonight. No, come please! On. This way, come, come, on. come on, come on. Here we go. In Franz Kafka's The Castle, the cast was K, Dominic Rowan, Jeremias, Mark Benton, Arthur, Daniel Wayman, the teacher, Stephen Greif, Gardena, Rachel Bavage, Frieda, Sammy T. Dobson, Chief Superintendent, Jonathan Cullen, Barnabas, Neil Granger, Olga, Victoria Elliott, Hans, Dominic Deakin. Other parts were played by members of the company. Music for the Jackie Palmer Children's Choir was arranged by Avril Thompson and Sarah Lawson and conducted by Rebecca Howitt. The Castle, dramatised by Ed Harris and produced and directed by John Taylor, is a Fiction Factory production for BBC Radio 4. Franz Kafka's The Castle, dramatised in two episodes by Ed Harris. Episode 2. You arrived at the Bridge Inn two nights ago, late in the evening. On your arrival, you made yourself known to the landlady... Uh, um... Gardena, sir. Why the Bridge Inn? Well, sorry. Why not present yourself to the castle immediately? It was late. The landlady put you in the maid's room. <laughs> Does that have any significance? Let's you and I work on the assumption that everything has significance, Mr K. The maid's room. Only after I showed my summons and papers. Papers you no longer have. A man from the castle, Schwarzer, he took them... Hollister? Uh... Schwarzer? No one I could find. Ah, and your assistant? The assistant, my assistant, never arrived. The two men claiming to be my assistant... And you claim to be a land severe. People's perceptions of even the tiniest details can differ, and... But, Mr Key, I don't want you to think of our hearing as an interrogation. I'm not interested in... Claims. Claims? What claims? That you used the public telephone to contact the castle, pretending to be your own assistant. I'm, I'm not interested in who called whom a parasite or your behaviour with an unmarried barmaid in... I'm not interested in any of these mounting claims. But it's clam. It would be a shame if everyone had their say except the land severe. Except the man in question, wouldn't it? Well, I have nothing to say about them. I've no complaints. This or... isn't a ledger of complaints. It's merely information. And I'm asking you to submit counter-information should that be something you were prepared to humour us with. You were lodging with the landlady of the Bridge Inn, correct? I was hoping to see Clam. Clam is my point of contact here. I only need... I didn't come here for the weather or, 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 or my health, Mr... Um... Secretary Mormus. And, and, and frankly, if the gentleman Clam isn't here or isn't prepared to see me, then I needn't be here either. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Yeah, joke time's over. Sit down, Mr K. Sit. Mr K, sit. Hollister, could you help Mr. K return? Oh, no need. Done it himself. 
Mr K enjoys his independence, don't you, Mr K? Solitary figure, gritted teeth. Hero's profile, he puts a man like you to shame, Hollister. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hollister's merely a cog in the machinery of... What are you a cog in the machinery of, Hollister? Can't remember, sir. Machinery nonetheless, unlike you, Lance Severe, yes? I wouldn't know. Wouldn't know, and happy to say so. Like a clap of thunder, there's your answer. Yes, sir. Not a point-scoring, faceless little upstart like you, or dare I say me, Hollister. Who you Spain. Conviction. Yes, sir. I can't I can't see how any of this helps anything. I'm sorry if we're inconveniencing you, Mr. Key. But if if everything's written down, I mean, look at the size of the file as it is, and, and uh, how can I be guaranteed that it will ever reach Clamp? Please, sir, if a child bangs on like this, we can all laugh, but to have it from an adult, sir. Not necessary, Hollister. You, non-citizen. Clam appointed Mormus. Mormus is Clam's ears and eyes. Hollister. He's Clam's hand here in this room, Clam's hand. Hollister. Sir. Thank you. Now, Mr Lance Severe... Does, does Clam even read these reports? Does Clam even... himself? Himself. Never. Then, Secretary Momus, what possible purpose can it have to... for me to... I had my fiancé waiting at home for me. The hearing is voluntary, Mr Key. I can always fill in the rest of the report myself. Voluntary? Well, it's, it's common procedure to have the subject present for his own hearing, but we can't force anyone to. It, can we, Hollister? Then I shan't be complicit in my own interrogation. There's that hero's gumption again, Hollister. Indeed, sir. Mr K, if you leave this room, there is a risk you will become lost. Without a hearing, you may slip through the administrative cracks. Open the door. Do as he asks, Hollister. Mr K, you do realise there is no end to this. There is no end... Thank you for your time. Starless. Pit black night. Lungs ringing with cold. Push on. If anyone can hear me! Anyone? Snow filling my mouth. Excuse me! Oh! My back, my bloody... Uh, back! Where's my cane? Hell, 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 where's my... Excuse me! Sir! Hello, we... Mr. K! Sir! Sir! <laughs> Damn piss! How the hell did those dreadful assistants know where to look for me? Sir! Stay still. Stay silent. Let them pass. Where are you, sir? Gotcha! Uh, over here with your torch, Arthur. There's some sod... Found him! ...cowering in a stream and caked in Christ knows what. It's all of his sides and... It's mud. I'm looking for my cane. Is that him? Come on, grab hold of Daddy's hand and I'll give you an oopsie up. I can't. I lost my cane. Hand, sir. Impossible. I... Hand, if you please. Go on. Go on. What the hell are you doing, Arthur? I'm dusting you down, sir. Just getting rid of the grime and... And the, and the God knows what. You're shoving me. No, stuck fast some of this. Oh, look at it. It's like something fished out of the latrine. Enough. Oh. Won't you say hello to your friend? Uh, friend? Barnabas. What a... Well, this is wonderful. Hello, hello. Hello. What have you... Have you any news, Barnabas? A letter from Clam, Mr K. A letter from Clam, indeed. This is profoundly welcome news. And do you have it on you, young man? Oh, yes. Oh, here. Let me have a look at that. Oh. Well, then. Well, this is, like the sir says, profoundly... Uh, profoundly welcome news. <laughs> To the land surveyor. Appreciated are all surveys thus far conducted. But notwithstanding your assistants, who are no less praiseworthy in themselves. Oh, oh that is that's nice, cause. Oh, it's nice to get a mention. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Uh, <laughs> continued tenacity on all fronts hereafter anticipated. <laughs> Any interruption at this stage will be disagreeable in the extreme. I am keeping an eye on you. Oh. But this is 
This is impossible. I haven't... Barnabas, I haven't surveyed anything. Yes, sir. No, don't just yes, sir. You're as bad as them. <laughs> Where is my cane? Oh. Where did you drop it? In the stream. Go on. Go on! Now! Now! Oh. Oh. Very well. This is... This is unfortunate, Barnabas. Grave. It's... It's disconcerting. Yes, sir. You must report back immediately and... Tell Mr. Clam. Tell him... The gentleman has been regrettably misinformed. I can't interrupt work that hasn't been started and presently... Ah, if I could have a minute, half a minute, even ten words with the gentleman Clam, he'll see all concerns will be immediately, um, not concluded... Terminated? Resolved. Thank you, Mr. Kerr. I'll pass this on imminently, along with your last message. Fanta... Huh? The last message you gave me. Thank you, Chief Executive Clam, for your kind message. With regrets, I Did you not deliver it to the castle the next day? The next day. After I gave you the last message, did you not go up to the castle the oh, next no, day? Oh, no, sir, no. My father's getting on a bit now. He's also a cobbler. In the name of everything holy, you extraordinary man! I, I'm talking to you about communication with the castle. Not, not, not... <laughs> yes, sir. No, Barnabas, no laughing. This is not... This is... This is... Deliver. It to clam immediately. When I give you a message, deliver it to the gentleman immediately. Otherwise, otherwise, well, I might as well send it with those two idiots. Are you all right, sir? No. No, I'm not all right. I'm... I'm... Right. Very good. Excellent. Right, Barnabas, I want you to take this message, this message I just gave you, to clam. Tomorrow morning, first thing. Can you do that? I can. It's imperative he gets it first thing. Can you do that? Gets it and reads it. I... Gets it, reads it, and then you bring me his response immediately. Can you do that, Barnabas? Please. I can. I can wait there until he sees me, and then, yes, even if I wait all day, but I, I won't. I won't need to. I'll do it tomorrow morning, and I'll be with you by noon. Well, let's quarrel about it no longer. Go home and get a good night's rest. Yes, sir. I... I... Thank you, sir. Oh, and my sisters send their regards, especially Amalia. Thank you, Barnabas. <sighs> you two, my cane. Uh, I've got it! Uh, yeah. 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 That's a branch! Uh. So, this is home now, Frida. Come in, come in. It must be miserable out there. It's only... Uh, boys, boots off, please. Oh, come on. We'll only have to put them on again tomorrow. Boys. Oh, oh come on. All right. Oh. Come here, Key, so I can see you properly. Come into the light. It's only the school hall, but I've tried to... You look so drawn. You barely fill your coat. <laughs> oh, God. I've got you. I'm just feeling a little off. Sorry. Let's sit down. Step at a time. Put your weight on me. Come on. There you are. You were gone a long time. I had some questions. Everything was all right? In the end. Coffee. I'll put some coffee on. We're caretakers now. This holds my home overnight. You didn't go and see those girls... Which girls? Barnabas' sisters. No. They make my skin crawl. I thought you must have stopped by on your way I back. didn't, darling, but they're Barnabas' sisters. Barnabas, I understand. Barnabas is work. Work can't be avoided, but... I forbid you from seeing those women again. Darling. Very well. Good. Food. It's only... Well, it's hardly... It's just thrown together. Sardines. Tinned, only. But bread? That sounds delightful. It's not much of a home. Only a hall. With the gym things to decorate the place. Ropes and... Well, ropes. But, in candlelight, there's a certain... Isn't there? Where did you get everything? Tablecloth? Coffee pot? The Herrenhof. But when did you go there? Before. Earlier. I even got you a pillow. Look, I'm heating the coffee over a spirit burner. Isn't that a thing? 
What's dinner? Your fella had us rolling around in the river just now looking for his kin. Look, practically icicles hanging off our knees. <laughs> oh, now, boys. I'm sure you're exaggerating a bit, aren't you? It was cold. Yeah. Plenty of sugar and nice and strong and hot. My. Uh, hands off, boys. Wait till Kay's had some. Then we can pass the cup round. But, with. Arter, don't make me tell you twice. He won't learn. Unless you spank him. <laughs> <laughs> no one get overexcited. It's an early start tomorrow. Everything will have to be ready by the time teacher gets here. Isn't there any wood? We're stuck in wet clothes in a drafty little... It's like a warehouse, Frida. How can we sleep like this? There's a woodshed, but it's locked. I've got an axe. Why? What? I found one. Why were you looking for one? When we got here, I, uh Just... Looking. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sir, what do you like? Picture that, eh? <laughs> Him waking up in the middle of the night and there's me, like this. <laughs> right, huh? Glaring down at you, swinging an axe. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Wake up, it's time, you nasty little immigrant, you puny <laughs> little... Pretentious little upstart. Right, I'll lug you out of some quarry somewhere like a dog. Here's the axe above <laughs> me head and... Uh, enough. You'll give yourself nightmares. <laughs> hey, sir. You have a wicked sense of humour. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh, come on, Mr oh. King. Hey, how about we three boys go walkies and see if we can't find a woodshed out oh. there? <sighs> Must you walk behind me? I feel escorted. It's saying nothing a yes now. No? No comment, sir. Come and stand here, sir. Where? Put out the lantern. Put it out. Put it out. <sighs> oh, look at the stars. How are your eyes? Can you see the school? Barely. Give me the axe. Here. Hurry up. I'm freezing my tits off. Right. Safety first. No sudden moves, Mr K. Oh, Christ! Where are you going? Get him! <laughs> Get off! I can't breathe! Oh, you quick little git, aren't you? Come on. Back on your feet. Now, back into position. Am I so much of a threat? Just by being here, am I really such a threat? And to whom? Mr. K. It's too late for all your am I's and was it's. And do you mind if I don't? It's too late. And we're too sober. Stand there. Here. What were free to say? What? One would think you had a nice enough situation here. Imperfect, perhaps, but lodgings, and you seem to enjoy Frieda well enough. Why bring everything to such an abrupt end? With myself out of the picture, she'd merely have to return to Clam, and then... Give me the axe. You want to do it? I'm not precious about it. Here you are. Is there not some mutual benefit to my being here? Even if it's an inconvenience? Even if it's merely so that... Because you enjoy her company so? Jeremiah's... Give him the axe. What? Give Mr. K the axe. Here. Oh. Um. Good grief. Like I said, you and your little jokes, Mr. K, will be the death of me. <laughs> oh! Uh. Yes. <laughs> On imagination. You thought, oh, God knows what. I can't even bring myself to say it. <laughs> come on, boys. Let's find the woodshed and stock up. Even if it's only for tonight. We can always come back tomorrow night, can't we, Mr. K? If need be. Indeed. Wood. Warmth. Then Betty buys. Yes. Right now, I must say, I feel more than a little exhausted myself. Frida. Frida. Where are you? Hell! Frida! Jeremiah, Arthur, get the light. Am I alone? Can someone please... Matches, wherever the bloody... Ah, OK. The hall, utterly empty. The assistant's bed, a sprawl of sheets, and... And... I can hear you in the hall, gentlemen and Frida. I can hear giggling. What on earth are you doing, Frida? What the hell is my fiancé doing with those two 
sweltering great thugs out in the corridor without... without... Look at you! There was a cat. Sorry? There was a cat. And... Well, at least I didn't know it was a cat at first. I just felt something on my chest. And then, because I didn't know what it was... Where is it now? Arthur and Jeremiah's. They tried to find it, but... A cat? Because they saw how it scared us. They chased it out into the corridor and... A cat? A cat-cat? A tabby. And this all had to happen out in the corridor, did it? That's where it went. The cat. Kay, why are you looking at me like that? Frida. Kay? Maybe this was fine for Clam at the Herrenhof, but it's not fine here with me. Honestly, I... Don't cry. Don't cry. This is sickening, this display of... of, of... <laughs> I'm sorry, Kay. And you in just your slip. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to... There's a lot I have to keep in my head at once. <laughs> Frida. It'll stop in a moment. It'll stop. I did not say enter. This dismal, soppy affection you show them. Sometimes I think you prefer them to me. No, Kay. I promise. All I ever dream of is uninterrupted peace with you. A deep, narrow grave where we lie all wrapped up in each other. Well, please, kiss us back. Clam's still in touch with you, isn't he? Through them, that's what... You take what... them too seriously. I know that sometimes, but it's more sensible just to laugh it off, isn't it? You need to exert a little more authority over them. I mean, I appreciate, obviously, they're two somewhat attractive men, and but I must say, it's no joke to be under constant surveillance. We we'll all feel a little under surveillance, Key. Sometimes. What's that tone? Nothing. Frida. It wasn't a tone. It was... Do you miss him? Is that it? To miss him, there has to be an absence of him. And here, well, there's only too much clam. What do you mean? I just worry that you're becoming too... The only thing we need to worry about is warming the classrooms for the children tomorrow. That's all. Look, lie down. Rest your head. There really was a cat. You're overthinking. Go to sleep. My God, I have never! This is unacceptable! Silence! 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 Where is he? Amidst all these strewn bodies and sheets and. Up, up, up! Max, hitch me my cane. Now! Now, now! There's no need to shout, no teacher. Need to shout. Oh, oh, I'm glad we're amusing you two, lying around in a slovenly depressed state until mid-morning, like a bunch of... Uh, You've no uh, need to address my assistance, teacher. Any fault you find, and, I admit, looking at the state of the room... Look at the state of my desk! What things? Why did you... I was just about to tidy them away. Don't touch them! Don't touch them! Until... Children, avert your eyes. Until this woman has covered herself up. Okay, my things... Go and stand behind the gymnastic apparatus and dress yourself. And when you are presentable, you may go to the teacher's desk and tidy away your broken things. With respect, teacher. Who I... gave you permission to break into the woodshed? Caretaker. Sir, it wasn't him, sir. I did. I took the axe. It, it wasn't very hard. Children, avert your eyes. And I knew my fiancé would be returning from the Herrenhof, and the room was cold, sir, and I'm dressed, teacher. You can remove your hand from your eyes. I'm at fault. I'm the only one at fault. Is this true, Mr. K? Well, um, last night, when... Uh, you two, at the present... Yes, sir. Who broke down the door to the woodshed? Well, uh, um, Jeremiah's and Datur, isn't it? Uh, I'm Jeremiah's, he's... Uh, uh, I'm... Uh, Max, my cane, please. Oh, huh? No. Uh, uh, yes! Uh, Who broke into the woodshed? Artur! Oh. 
Oh, sir. the gentleman did, sir. Jeremiah, come on, oh, sir, please. Oh, oh, no, bro. Oh. Oh. No. God in heaven, it was him, sir. Him. Who? Stop it, please, God. Stop it. They're just babies. Miss. My fiance. You see, children. The Alibis, the sickly vermin standing there, disloyal even to his own. And you were able to stand there while others took the blame for your actions. Oh, they're owed a thrashing. I've been too lenient on them. Cane him! He even looks like Disgusting, sir. Disgusting. Disgusting. Cane him! Dirty gypsy! Kick him out! Kick, Kick him, him out! Mr. K, I require you to leave my sight and permanently leave my school. And take your family with you. You have no right to live amongst us as you are. Please, sir, we didn't mean to. I was appointed here by the chief superintendent, and I answer to him. Hmm. Meantime, I'll clean the gym and warm the school for the day's classes. Children, we'll be taking class in the second room today. Out! Out! I'll meet you there. <laughs> Including you, Clara, and you, Joseph. Put it down. It probably belongs to the caretaker. It's probably not clean. Jeremiah, Arthur, pull yourself together and find some wood to replace that which we took. Now! Oh, yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes. yes. Quick march. Aye, but it's, it's snowing, sir. We can't see a thing. I've locked it out. What? What's that for? Quiet. Now, apologies, teacher, but by and large, most of the trouble here has been caused by my assistant, and I think locking them out will... Yes. Are you certain you want to involve the chief superintendent further in your case? Quite. Uh -huh. Well, bear in mind, in your case, it may not always be advisable to trust your instincts. Remember how you behaved at your hearing last night? I behaved exactly as I ought. Then perhaps it's your perception of events, as well as your instincts you should be wary of. You'll hear from the chief superintendent by the end of the day. Come on, Frida. Let's see what we can straighten up. Don't you think we should let them in? They can always return to the castle. Go away! You are dismissed! Oh, but their little faces... It makes us so sad to see their little faces. There. Gone. I hate existence here. We should run away. I can't. What would have coaxed me to this desolate place were I not, in fact, meaning to stay? Hiya, sweetie. Sorry, lad. The class is being taken next door. We're only cleaning in here. I know. I just came from there. Oh, right. Well... Something on your mind? I saw you at the fire engine festival. Well? I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> you want to be a caretaker? Well, that shouldn't be too no, hard. No, not, not like that. Like you. How do you mean, little man? In what way? Things are... I know. Um, one day you'll triumph over everyone. What do you mean? Everyone. I have to go. Well, wait a moment. You look worried, Frida. No, I'm not worried. I just... It's sweet. You have a little convert. <laughs> Don't take him so seriously. He's just a boy. Boys have imaginations and... You're smiling. Not me. Mm. Where are you going? I have to... I'm going to have a look at the woodshed. I have to buy some timber for a new door. In the village? In the village. It's not those sisters, is it? Please, Kate. And it won't help you or me to be seen with them. I beg you, don't get mixed up in their affairs. You swore. I did. I know it's not to see them. I need timber for a door. I was just wondering in, if... In, 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 please. Look, you sh... 
shoes. You must buy yourself some proper winter boots. They're practically threadbare. Oh, they weren't when I arrived. Yes, but that was then. Why are you whispering? Father's next door with the fire chief. Sorry, I didn't spot you there. Oh, Amalia's lurking. I'm not lurking. Also, she's sh lurking so that she can. They. Him and Dad, the fire chief and Dad, are old work friends. That's Papa's certificate up on the wall. Fire officer, second class. Bit faded. Oh, the sign, not the. Yes, I realise. But the fire chief arrived 40 minutes ago and he just looked so. Didn't he, Amalia? He looked. Shh. So she's listening in. I can't hear anything. They're not saying anything. Oh, it's not a good sign. I shouldn't really have come by, but um, it, it's your brother, Barnabas, actually. I, I gave him a message yesterday of paramount importance for Clam. Do you know, has he returned for the castle? I haven't seen him all day. Uh, Amalia, I'm if... really do go and whisper into the fire. <sighs> and I don't want to hear any little, do you know, Yes, 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 this way. Now, do you want me to tell Mrs K you were here? Just ignore her. Please, sit. People have been coming by all day. In what sense? Daddy's a cobbler. Everyone in the village knows him, but today people... Not everyone, but almost everybody has been asking for their boots back. I don't follow. Nothing said. No one's actually said, but... Amalia received a letter from Sortini. She met Sortini at the festival the other day, the... Um, um, Trumped up official, I remember. And we were all quite excited. Father, especially, and even Amalia cracked a smile. Oh. <laughs> and then last night she received this letter from him. Such handwriting, such exquisite lettering. Mm -hmm. But Mr. K, I mean, the language. Language? Addressed to the girl with the garnet necklace, and then this torrent of. of there wasn't one word of civility. I don't understand. Filth, utter, vitriolic. Angry, very graphic. It doesn't do to gossip, ladies. Put pictures in your head, Mr. K. Vulgar. I returned it to one of his messengers. I'm afraid I tore it up. It wasn't only vulgar. It ordering her to get up, essentially, that moment, visit him to discuss things further. Is this normal? Periodically. Clam was known for his letters. He, They'd say he wrote letters so coarse you'd... To the pit of your stomach, Mr. K. Frida was just a little dairymaid, an orphan when she first went up to visit at the Herrenhof. Oh, I'm sorry, you probably don't want to know about all our activities before. Well, not really. Sometimes I lie in bed and wonder how Frida might have coped with them. Girls, perhaps you could say goodbye to the fire chief. Are you going already? I'm, uh, f I'm afraid... Uh, well, I'm afraid this hasn't been a pleasant visit. I, uh... But before I go... Oh, of course... Amalia, could you perhaps grab a chair and get down Daddy's certificate? Your certificate? Please. My knees are... No. Your fire certificate. Do as I ask. But that's out of the question. Why do you want your certificate? Olga, maybe if your sister won't, then... Yes, Papa. Oh... This is extraordinary. It's nothing of the sort. The fire chief is simply... Well, how uh... long have you and father been friends? Amalia. I'm, I'm very sorry to have to do this to you, but... Uh, well, the wife had left some shoes with you, too. Size four, flat soles. The buckle had a little... Uh... I think it came loose. Uh, it? A little. They can be ready by tomorrow. I... No, I, I, I don't think so. A certificate, Papa. Perhaps... Uh, give it straight to the fire chief. I, I needn't... Uh... I'll send Barnabas round with the shoes later there. That's that's kind. I appreciate how well you... Well, how well you're all, you know, in the circumstances. Mr Fire Chief, sir. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, I, I needn't take the frame. I mean, you could No, always... please, just just take it all. I, I can't... Well, well, good, dear. I petitioned the castle. Honestly. This afternoon, I thought, I thought it best and... I also spoke to the chief superintendent. Honestly. You don't need... Sorry. <clears throat> I, I don't have your boots. No, I'm not here for boots. I don't have anyone's boots. Father. I don't have anyone's bloody boots. Oh, Daddy. 
Let's, let's get you through to the kitchen and we'll put something warm on the stove. I don't have a bloody thing, darling. I don't, I don't have a thing. Not a thing. I'm not saying you shouldn't have rejected Sortini, but maybe, maybe I could offer to pay more tax. This is all because of Sortini. Not doing as she was requested was one thing, but there was also a treatment of the messenger. Even if she'd only appeared to do as she was told, or even probably if she'd gone to Sortini's room, but gone properly and knocked and waited, he'd probably have been too busy or bored by then. Or People write letters all the time. No, she did exactly as she should have done. Possibly. But you're not anyone, really, are you? Perhaps not. The fact of the matter is, by acts of commission or omission, singling someone out amounts to isolating them. Hopefully... What was that? I didn't hear anything. Outside. It sounded like someone. I was saying, I have a small amount of, not even influence, but something with the servants at the Herrenhof. I'll do what I can. What? In the stables? They have connections. But you're not here for me. You want Barnabas. I was hoping he'd be back from seeing Clam. Why do you think the official Barnabas believes to be Clam is really Clam at all? I was led to believe. Barnabas was led to believe too. But we're also led to believe that Clam looks different depending on which stair he stands on and different depending on which window he looks out of. Well, surely that's just talk. The fact is, there was once a man who was pointed out to Barnabas and someone said, that's Clam. That's all we know. So... Barnabas is merely waiting around with letters for someone who... And we don't even know who he is. Some say Momus is clam. Father, come back! You're going nowhere! Get off! Get off me! Oh. Before, because, by oh. God, I, I will strike you oh, if I have girl. to, girl. A little hand, please! Where are you going, Daddy? Oh. He wants to go out in the street. I will petition the gentlemen from the castle as they pass the house. My court... In this rain? In this rain, in this suit, in this... Present frame of mind, yes, yes, yes. But, Daddy, if that worked, people would do it all the time. Papa, stop. I did nothing wrong. The more guilty you behave, the more you're willing something to happen. Amalia, I am your father, and... Uh, what was that? There's somebody outside the window. And you said we weren't guilty. Can you see anyone? It's too dark. I think... I think I have to be careful not to be seen. <sighs> Everyone is deserting us. Perhaps if there's someone outside, is there possibly a second way out of the house? Through my bedroom, through Dad's workshop. There's a window at the back. Make an exit through windows, Kay. Sir. Who are you? Step up so I can see you, sir, and... Jeremiah, you look different. That's because I'm alone. Without our tear, I'm, uh, I have less reason to laugh. Where is he? He returned to the castle to finish his report on you. What report? To whom? We were forced to end our assignment early. Because? Because of you, Mr. K. Because of thrashings, because of being chased into rivers and thrown into the snow, because... Plus, Arte is more sensitive than I am. Well, if you hated your appointment, and I hated your appointment, then why did because you Because I was on duty, sir. Well, sir, it seems to me you're no longer required to go sloping about after dark, listening at cracks of the window. I'm here and... because Frida asked me. She was very unhappy when you set off for more dubious meetings. She needn't worry about that. I... Good. Then I'll return to the Herrenhof and tell her that. Is she not at the school? Ah, well... After you left the school, we... Frida and I, that is. Because she was crying, Mr K. I thought it best if we, uh In short, if she returned to the tap room. What? We all change. And then we change back again. Mr K. Not so. Not so, Jeremiah. She's simply gone home. Good night. Calm. Calm. Heart in my gullet. If I ran, I could at least hold her hands in mine, explain before Jeremiah's, with his deliberate misconceptions and... Sir! Sir! Where are you going? Barnabas, quickly, man, quickly! Success! I had... Oh, God, sorry. I've just come from the castle. I had... I had a bit of success. A message? 
Yes, you saw him. I did. I did try. I waited all day. I was there in my uniform and my, you know, straight back, good posture. Committed to uh, calm. Be in there. Did you see him? Who knows? He has such then, a... Uh, what? It's the good news, Barnabas. Alanga... Alanga works for Clam. Alanga sees me, sees me standing there, and he approaches me, sir. Close as I am to you. Barnabas says it. He says... I can't do his voice. I say yes. Appointed to the land surveyor, are you? Again, yes. I'll be in room 15 at the Heronhof tonight. Tell him I'm anxious to see him. Was that it? Alanga said it. On me life. Thank you, Barnabas. Bless you. Is this Erlanger's office? Mr. Q? Yes. Land severe? Correct. I'm in a hurry. Sorry if I'm... I ran. I need to see Erlanger, but... Hmm, yes. Would you mind terribly if I just scoot up onto your shoulders? Pardon? There's a small hatch above the door here. Can you see? Thing is, before Erlanger, I need to see someone else first. Is it it's possible It's my job to... to have a peep through that hatch above his door and ascertain his, um, immediate state. From my shoulders? From your shoulders. I really do need to be quick. Thank you. That's my ear, not a damn foothold. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Keep. And up on one, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Can you see anything? Can you see anything? Excuse me. Yes? Hello, my name is uh, Gerstacker. Is Erlanger taking appointments uh, at present? Uh, you, you'll have to ask him. Uh, who? Up. Up on my shoulders. Oh, 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 oh my. Well, that's something you don't expect to see every day. <laughs> Hello up there. Very good. Down, down, Mr. Key. Uh, steady, steady. Uh, Oopsie. Uh, oh, there we go. Alanga will ring the electric bell when he's ready to see you, Mr. Keir. Oh, is that what he said? Sorry. It's just I didn't hear him say anything. Uh, hello. Excuse me. You're here about a permit to work on the building site, uh, yes? Yeah, that's correct. When he rings the electric bell... Uh oh A shape over Gerstacker's shoulder at the end of the corridor, bereft of colour, like a ghost. Uh, excuse me one moment. Uh, hold my place. Thank God I found you before. Has Jeremiah seen you? <coughs> oh, you look terrible, Keith. Frida, what are you doing here? I'm making beds. You don't look well, Keith. Is it that you think that I've been unfaithful? Let's discuss this in the classroom. I can't think about those girls without feeling sick. Precisely. They're hardly temptresses. Oh, the servants would disagree. Nightly. In the stables. What's her face? The younger one. Olga. Please, not her name. Really, Kay, what kind of marriage would it have been with those two skulking about? I could say exactly the same about those assistants who, darling, you let back in. Oh, you deliberately misconstrue situations. Situations? And, and how do I do that, precisely? Frida, don't walk away from me. Good night, Kay. And have a bath. You're not... You're my fiancé. Can we discuss this more privately, Frida? These are the servants' quarters. Please don't follow us. It's not nice. Please! I'm on duty, Kay. Then why have you led me to your room? I've led you nowhere. Two minutes. No. Why not? If we... Let's go inside and sit in private and... We well, wouldn't be in private. Is he in there? Well, these are the servants' quarters, Kay. You've got no right. <laughs> it's locked. Yes, thank you. It's clearly... Clam! Clam! You're embarrassing yourself. It's not him. It's... Oh, forgive me. I didn't hear you. I was half passed out on the bed there. I, uh... You only just got here. I caught a chill earlier. And as you can see, I think I'm not precisely at my best. But come in, please. Come in, Mr Kay. I'm very happy where I am, thank you. Frida? It wasn't our intention to upset you. Come on, Jeremiah. 
Take my shawl. We'll pop you back in bed and... This is it, Frida. This is it, is it? What about Mr K? Can't we just... <sighs> I'm so sorry. So I suppose to you it must seem sudden. Why don't you step inside for a drink? Jeremiah's bed now. But I don't want to leave Kay all out here and alone and... Shh, shh. I'll pray for you. We both will, won't we, Frida? To bed, my love. Look, we'll have to go now, Kay. But Frida! The door closes on her room. Warm, bright, cosy. A little home. Disappears. <laughs> No servant, no Erlanger, all lights extinguished, just... Hello? Go away! Is this room 15? Go away! Maybe if I can't find Erlanger, find a spare room, crawl into a bed, under a desk, my ribs, my chest, Skin prickling like influenza. Excuse me. Hello? Lie down. Lie here. Oh. Breathe gently. Lie. What? Oh. Oh. Christ, 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 good hell, horse. Please don't, sir. Um, look at my papers. Everything's in order. Look, I'll, I'll get... May I get the light? I'll just... I'll just... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> <coughs> I was looking for Secretary Erlanger and... And then you thought, whoop de doo maybe there's an empty bed. And good God, man, when did you last eat? Look at you, like a... a, a um, uh, Mary... Uh, no, it's gone. I should go. Oh, don't bother. I'll never get back to sleep now. Everyone will be barking themselves awake in an hour. All the same. Marionette! Was... Look at you like a bloody marionette with its strings cut or something. Say, so sit here on the edge of my bed and stay perfectly still. And if I drift off, which I won't, then... Uh, <sighs> Maybe we could both sleep. Oh, alas. Sleep like miracles takes a little time. Sorry. Not at all. So... I know who you are, but you don't know... I, um, I am Burgel. I administrate between Mr Friedrich and the village. It's a restless job, a restless life, and not everybody's particular cup of tea, I should imagine. But then we can't all be land surveyors, can we? Apparently even those of us who are can't be. Sorry? Uh, what? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> how marvellous. How, how vicious. Notepad, notepad. <coughs> Here, yeah. beg pardon. No, no, but I infer a small denotation of truth in your, um, uh, flippant, uh, um, uh, we're not Mr Lanceveer, we're not so royally ship here that we can let skilled workers go unworked. Oh, I'll see if I can't have a bit of a poke about and, um, uh, resolve the... That? Uh... I appreciate that, thank you. No, not at all, not at all. Sometimes the whole system seems designed to deter the... Uh, yet, in truth, every day a small glance, a nod, a gesture from a stranger is an opportunity. Yes, an opportunity to be exploited, no? Hmm? Sorry. And maybe you feel it doesn't concern you. Mr Lansevere? L listening. The... Prosthetic barrier between one and one of, i.e., us, which uh, as one of us, by whom soft I bed, is tucking fingers under the duvet, with you, as in, in the fingertips, case, uh, you, warm as little loaves, office, being the dream like snow, muffles. Dream, I think. The village where I grew up, and the wall every boy could climb, except me my tragic celery stick arms. Then one day I did, when no one was looking, climbed to the top and looked down on all the little gravestones, scattered like a town. Before them, like a ringmaster, me, triumphantly. How do I get
get down. Mr. K. No, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I... So, in conclusion, I, I, I was when asleep. persons arrive unannounced in the middle of the night to a secretary not their own, said secretary must point out that said member of public can now, like a ringmaster, ringmaster. control everything. Documents, passes, permits. They are all quite... Look. <laughs> oh, everything is prepared. I'm, I'm not following. You're not following? <coughs> oh, good God, is that blood? Are you unwell? Go. Oh, bombs, that's your appointment. It was Erlanger you wanted, wasn't it? But what were you saying before about, um, papers? Virgo! <sighs> There's someone with you in there. Oh, uh, he's just coming! Secretary Erlanger! Go, Mr Lansevier, go, go! Um, don't forget your cane! Stand up tall! Yeah, whoopsie, don't stumble! <laughs> Straight spine, shoulders back! He's coming, Erlanger! But... But, Mr Burgle! Mr. K. Oh. Um. Yes? This way, if you'd kindly. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, let me take your arm there. Oh, how oh. heavy you are. Ooh, you might have washed. Oh. Uh, am I. Where were you? Well, I when I came previously... Please, the I... point is, you weren't here, and I waited. And now you are here, and I have to go. Indeed. Agreed. Your shirt, sir. Thank you. Well, let's not piss the rest of our lives away over the matter, Mr Lansevere. You know a girl, um, uh, um... Frida. And once upon a time, Frida worked in the tap room here, yes? Um... Is he listening? He's nodding, sir. Your eyes are better than mine. Lift your legs, sir. What? Boots. Ah, oh, yeah, yes. Frida used to do for Clam his niceties and necessities. All well and good, but then this Frieda disappeared. No, she's back now. I can't hear a bloody word he's saying. He was agreeing, sir. Even if someone had removed a stain, we'd ask them to put it back. She deserted me. She, she deserted me. Personal feelings must be left out of this. That girl, the... Uh, the Frieda. The one I mentioned, must be returned at once. Uh, that is all. Your fur cap, sir. Thank you. Is it a scant? Uh, no, sir. Mr Secretary Erlanger, I don't have any... That is, Frida is her own woman and already backed by her own volition. Did he get that? Did he take it down? I'm not her fiancé anymore. He liked it very much, sir. He's underlining the bit about Steens. God, that'll be the trolley. I'm late already. Good day. I'd love to help in the... But it's out of my hands. She's her own... Well, that's your own affair. You have to go now. Good morning, Secretary. Your file, sir. Commotion from all the rooms, like a hundred hearts beginning to beat against a hundred rib cages. All files, sir. But no one leaves their rooms. A servant in a well-fitting grey suit pushes a trolley. Secretaries, come on out! Come on out, wherever you are! Creak. Doors open a peep. Little eyes squint out, then disappear. What does the bell signify? One of the gentlemen wants help, Mr K. Why? Even ghosts disappear when morning comes. I don't follow. You're still here. Jesus Christ, Key, you're still here. It's OK, gentlemen. I'm dealing with the obstruction. Do you know this vagrant, Frida? No. Not really. Barely. It's disgusting. Can't you remove it, please? Think of the gentleman. Go. Now. Hands on my back, pushing me. I had no idea. Oh, don't give me that. I had no idea I was so important. But look, the idea that they can't begin their days while I'm here. You know precisely what you're doing. And you knew the precise consequences of... 
Get that trolley out the way. Out of the way. No need to shove, Hinny. Then, there, on the trolley, just as the chief superintendent had described it, a blue scrawl on the front, land surveyor, and beneath, clam. Wait. There's no time. The gentleman must be up and bathed. You and... have my file. That's mine. It's free that my file. These have nothing to do with you. But... And before my eyes, in half and in halves again, white scraps dropping away like snow. These have nothing to do with you. It wasn't even a file, Kay. It was just a scrap of paper. It was... Come on. It was... It was proof. It said land surveyor. Frida, it... You've driven me to this! And you're disgusting! And... And a parasite! Frida! Please! The darkness, nerve-wracking at first, gives way to a sense of sudden, unexpected freedom. I can remain here, in the yard of the Herrenhof, in a place forbidden to me, as long as I like. No one can drive me away. In the end, this is a kind of freedom. Waiting. We met outside Air Langer's office last night. Ah, uh, the permit yeah, for... Yes, yes. Uh, Gerstacker. Uh, permit for the building site. That's it. You're not to worry about anything. Oh? Do you know anything about horses? Nothing. Huh? Then you could look after the horses. There's a mattress in the attic. And if you need payment, that's a bear. Fret not. But why? You don't... Is this... Do you think I have influence with Erlanger? Oh, what a ridiculous notion. He takes my arm. Gerstacker's cottage is dimly lit. His mother sits under the rafters, in candlelight. Takes my hand at once and has me sit directly beside her. She held out her trembling hand to Kay and had him sit down beside her. She spoke with great difficulty. It was difficult to understand. But what she told him In Franz Kafka's The Castle, the cast was K, Dominic Rowan, Jeremias, Mark Benton, Arthur, Daniel Wayman, the teacher and Gerstacker, Stephen Greif, Amalia, Rachel Bavage, Frieda, Sammy T. Dobson, the father and Burgle, Jonathan Cullen, Barnabas, Neil Granger, Olga, Victoria Elliott, Hollister and Erlanger, Ross Waiton, Momus and the fire chief, Trevor Fox. The children were played by Dominic Deacon, Alex Taylor McDowell, Alice Martin, Maddie Hill, and Tegan Williams. The Castle, dramatized by Ed Harris and produced and directed by John Taylor, was a fiction factory production for BBC Radio 4. It's because her